Hey, what is up, VC gamers? Today I'm going to be teaching you what all these menus do and what all these menus lead to. We have a bunch of menus and it could probably be confusing for you as a new player. So we're going to go through the menus one by one and hopefully make this kind of hasty because this could be a long video because there's a lot to go over. So let's go straight into it. On the upper left, this is going to be your profile, right? You have your player profile. It tells you what your gray rank is. You get, uh, you can swap your character support. Uh, you can enter gift codes from here. You can change your, like, nice to meet you things. Uh, uh, whatever, like, you can just change that to whatever whatever for some people view your account you can change it you can change your username your your id name up here you can edit your birth date so I'll do whatever you want i'll do that later uh you have your achievement list your achievement list is kind of important that you use this achievement to collect extra rewards you just do certain things to like own an ss character you get like free tickets and stuff uh you spend model cogs you get cogs returned and like battles and stuff doing missions and co-op missions you get like rewards right you got your display your display is going to be like uh the characters on your like I guess when someone views your account, for example, if I go to like friends and I click a friend, for example, let's we'll just click this guy. This would be like your construct displays, right? And this is a support, right? It would just show you what you have. He's got uh, this chick to S and you can see what's going on with them, right? Kind of cool. All right. That's how the, that's, that's that upper left menu is your profile stuff. Now let's go down into the rewards and the events. This is going to be your daily login event. Like, uh, I guess I guess there's a round two where you get the, her outfit or whatever. So for the first seven days, you can log in and collect weapons and like stuff up to the new character, which is going to be zero. After logging in for seven days, you get the zero, and then I guess it goes to round two. And round two, you do the same thing. You log in and you get some uh, free like equipment for her and an outfit. So this character will be completely free. So cool. You can also get your first purchase uh, rewards and your monthly pass if you choose to spend. It's going to be a full free to play account. So. As you know, I think I already showed you the brand and social section. This is for your friends. You can add people. Uh, you can go add people from here. You can search people for friends. Uh, to add them, you go down. Uh, let's claim all. You can claim like rewards and stuff. And then if anyone sends you a friend request, it's going to be in the pending area. You can add people too. I think to add people, you go to friends and you search their ID right here. So you go, go add and then on the bottom, you search their ID. If you're talking to them, you can just tell them your ID. Your ID is right here and you can search them on the thing. And you can add them, right? Alright, so you also get your news. This is going to be what's going on in the game. Your events are coming, etc, etc. Patch notes, whatever, right? And then, like, web events and, like, web stuff as well. Alright, let's get into the actual bread and butter of the, like, the, the right side of the screen. There's a lot going on here. So let's go over it. Your top is going to be your black tickets, your energy, and your cogs. Your cogs are your currency, like, your free-to-play currency for buying things in the game. Uh, your stamina, and then your premium currency, right? Ignore this. This might be your phone battery or something. I don't actually know what this is. I'm on blue stack, so I have no idea what this is. Uh, your mail, you can get, you can collect mail from here. If you ever get like maintenance or stuff, it'll be in here. Your settings, you have your full settings right here. You can link your accounts. You can do whatever you want to your settings. Now let's get into this. We're going to start off with battle. What the hell is battle? Battle is actually going to be the main story, but there's stories within a story. For example, uh, to unlock chapter uh, 04, a new chapter, you have to go back to, I think, uh, it was this one, and you have to... Oh, no, no, it was one before it. So, to unlock this chapter right here, you'd have to go back to 02, and go over to here, click this, and go to the hidden path. This hidden path is like a story prologue, you just do, it's really short, you just go and do it, it's kind of boring, but that would unlock this, which is 26, you beat 26, and you would unlock the next like story going forward, right? So if I would take it off it and go to normal, it would unlock this uh this right here, which is 04 Forgotten Sand. So I would have to go back and I would I'd clear this now. And then after clearance, I would go here, but this would require the other hidden path, which I'm guessing is going to be 03. It's hidden path whenever I get there, right? So it's locked right now, so I have to do like probably two chapters ahead or chapter this next chapter, complete it, and then come back and do that hidden path, right? You have your interlude. Your interlude is kind of like just like this mini like story. If like were to click into it, you it's mainly just video clips. This, at least this first one is. And then you get to like actual like missions. On the bottom right, you can see you have rewards you can claim. You click this and you claim all your rewards after doing this. All right. And then you have your strongholds. I don't have those unlocked. You unlock those later, I guess. Oh, let me go back in there. So that's that's how you access all the story stuff, right? Whenever it, whenever it says like for example like. Uh, complete the stage three six hidden. Just know you got to go back to chapter three, and then go down, click this, and go to the hidden. Right? That's how that would work. All right. Now the bottom of the right page is going to be. So this is story mode. You have your resources. This is where you get your combat supplies, your uh, your your equipment material, your overclock material, your construct XP, which is your character XP, and then like your cogs and your skill points. Right. 
all useful things. I think the most useful one is going to be your overclocking material at the beginning. Uh, I keep exiting all the way. My bad. And then you have your challenge war. Your challenge war is going to be like your memory rescue. You can go in here and complete this puzzle. And it's going to recommend you get certain levels every time you do this. I just beat this one. So whatever I beat all these, I'll unlock this frame and I guess I get to collect this. It's going to give you rewards on the way, like level 5 chips and whatnot. It's kind of cool. You have your class. I would recommend doing this because it's really simple. It's just pretty much this is like the tutorial, right? It's nothing really crazy. You go there and do the tutorial. You got your construct battles. This is like character tutorials. I think this is really, really poorly designed, but it, you get free stuff, right? So go ahead and do that. And then you unlock the event, which I don't have access to level 35. So I got a couple levels field and then I unlock the event, right? So that's the, that's like the main like story page. Battle is like the story page and all your like your menus for like resource farming and whatnot, right? So now you have a separate thing. You have these mission and goals. What This is like a checklist of things you need to do. So if I go to story, for me to get this top reward and move on, I would have to own six or level 25 or higher memory and then uh, overclock in memory six times, right? So I just got to upgrade my cards and whatnot, right? And then by doing so, I get these points and these points go down here. And this is like a timeline where you can just collect stuff, right? Catch your dailies. It's the same thing. You just do these dailies. You get weeklies. Right now, your weeklies are going to be based off the event for the most part. I think there is a war zone thing too. You can go and do war zone. I'm not sure war zone is. It sounds like PvP, if I'm guessing. You get your event stuff just by. It's like this. This is like your checklist. Let's go through all your checklists to see which ones you can attain. And then at level 25, I think it is, you unlock the bounty missions. You get three of these every couple days. Uh, or maybe it's a weekly thing, and I would recommend you do the S one to give you the supply cards, but this is how you get some nice XP. You get a lot of XP for doing this. A lot of good resources, so whenever you unlock, that, unlock this, I recommend doing it. It's really nice. Alright, so that's that, that, all this. Uh, let's go over to Novus missions. I think Novus missions are a limited thing for eight, seven days, so after seven days, this should go away. But make sure you come in here and make sure you complete all your day ones, your day twos, your day threes. I've already completed my day one, so I'm waiting for tomorrow. It's just like a checklist of things you gotta do. It's really self-explanatory, just in case you weren't wondering. The R D research, this is going to be your banners. You got your you got your 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 free-to-play banner. You got your weapon banner that you can focus for weapons. You got your other weapon research. This is more, I guess, it's like an overall banner. You just go in here. This is like the free-to-play weapon banner, so you just throw your free-to-play stuff in here. And then, so you got your free-to-play banner right here. You got your other free-to-play banner here. You got your actual, like, weapon banner banner. And then you got your event banners, which are limited. So these take special currency. It's going to be these special tickets that you can get after just getting certain levels and accomplishments. And I think it's going to cost you the same, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm not really sure what the difference between the two banners are. Uh, this one just looks like a rate of the S contract 70%. And I think the other one might be guaranteed. I think this is, like, the uh, standard banner... Maybe. I don't know what the difference between the two are. To be honest, they look the exact same. Uh, this is the event one, and then this is the special event one as well. So, rolls. So, he's, this guy, he's got like an up value in this one. Like, all the characters are still in there, so you have a chance to pull all of them, but he's got the rated up version, right? He's the rated up one. Where I think the other banner, the event banner, is just guaranteed. So, if I check the event details, go to drop details, uh, maybe you can pull the other characters. I don't really know the difference. They look the exact same to me, so... I honestly don't know. Uh, I'm guessing this is going to be where the new characters go, and this is going to be... One of them is probably going to be a rotating banner for the standard banner, so you can try to focus fire them. And the other one might just be an event banner for new characters in the future. I'm guessing, right? That's, it's just me speculating at this point. All right? You get your dorms. I don't have that unlocked yet, but I'm guessing it's just going to be a place where you can send your characters to chill and, like, get infinity or whatever. You get your members. Your members are where you're going to access all your gear. You got your coatings, which are going to be your outfits, and you got your... Details of what they do, so you can see he's a physical dark unit, mixed damage, it tells you what they are, recommended partners, you can run with them, etc, etc. It's pretty easy, you got your Warzone as well for recommended combos. And then you can also go through your weapons, let's, let's go to an actual character, right? For example, I used uh, her, right? I got my purple weapon and she's all geared up, my BP powers are here, you can check your BP by right under your name, train him. You go to training, you can train all the characters, promote them, evolve them, etc. Evolving is when you get dupes. Throw your dupes in. Your skills are just how you increase the your skills, right? It's really, really, really self-explanatory. All right, so that's the members, items, items, items. items. This is like your, think of this as like your backpack, right? The cool thing is with this is that uh, you can see what you have. Like I have these 19 day premium, like these last for 19 days. Also this, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, it just gives you cards. Like it looks like okay, etc. Uh, okay, let me teach you something real fast. We will do this, right? If we go to recycle, it's gonna be a pro tip. 
you can recycle things and get currency. I would only recommend recycling purples because when you do that, you get these little like supply currencies, right? This this is very very important. This could be a video on its own, to be honest. Uh, what I did to get this purple weapons, I recycled some of the other stuff I need that was purple. And what I did is I took it to the if you go to shop and purchase at the very bottom, there's a recycle shop, and you can recycle purple for purple and get this currency and trade in for whatever items on list to increase your like to go for a certain weapons. You can focus fire weapons this way as well. But the thing is, the cool thing is that you can also up the uh, rate of it. You can go for a six star. Like you can actually focus. Like if you don't, I don't know why you ever would scrap six stars. But maybe eventually you don't have any need for them because you have a dupe. You could scrap these six stars and go for other weapons on the banner, right? Same for the five star. You just scrap some five stars and go for five star uh, memory shards or weapons or whatever, right? It's kind of cool. Just thought that'd be kind of handy that there's a recycle shop. You only get 150 it seems per trade, so you have to trade in four of these things. I would believe to get the actual like trade in for the new item, right? Okay, your event shop. I don't have that unlocked yet, so we'll get there when we get there. And then you have your top up and recharge. And the only thing I can really tell you for free to play, check out the daily packs and see if there's a free daily pack in here. Sometimes there's a free weekly pack in here too, so just keep your eye out on these packs. Uh, there, there are usually some free packs in here that you can grab. And other than that, I think I covered everything, guys. So I hope this video helped you navigate through the menus in some sort of way. I hope it wasn't too confusing, but thank you all for watching. We are on our way to 800 subs. If you'd like to hit that sub button, I'd appreciate you. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. My name is Josh, and I'm signing off. Peace. Okay.